low limb and exercise education class, here's the exercise part. So to start off, we're going to do a bit of a warm up. So 20 seconds of marching on the spot. Off we go. Good stuff. Make sure you're lifting those knees nice and high. And this first part is all designed for getting your heart rate and your blood pumping a little bit. Stuff. Five more seconds left. Brilliant. Okay, that's the warm up done. So, onto the squats now. So, if you grab a chair or something to rest your fingers on, I'm just going to do partial squats for 1 minute 30. Off we go. That's it. Try and keep your weight back on your heels if you can. Sticking your bottom back. Just go as far as you feel comfortable. Excellent. Good stuff. Keep it going. Good. Okay, going for one minute thirty. That's it. Try and as you go for a bit longer, try and increase that depth a little bit if you can. Get your bottom that little bit lower. Excellent. Good stuff. Good. Just starting to feel the muscles burning a little bit. Good, 30 seconds to go. Let's start, last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, brilliant. That's that exercise finished. So, on to the next exercise now. So keeping your chair, and we're just going to, for 90 seconds, practice on our balance. Okay? So I want you just to pick a leg, standing on that one leg for 45 seconds, and then we're going to switch. Off we go. And use your finger if you need a reference point, that's fine. But as the time goes on, try and challenge yourself a little bit. Good stuff, well done, keep going, keeping that balance. Switch legs, 45 seconds on the other leg now. Good. Try and focus, keep that balance if you can. That's it, good stuff. Good, try and take the hand off if you can. 20 seconds to go. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's there. Excellent. Good stuff. On to the next exercise now. Okay. So for the next exercise, if you're still using your chair, 90 seconds long, you can put your finger on, fingers on for a reference point. When you're ready, we're going to go up onto our tiptoes. Off we go. Okay, good. So keep it nice and slow. Try not to go too quick up and down, keep the movement nice and smooth. Excellent. Trying to get really nice and high up to the ceiling if you can. And slow on the way down. Good. Try and keep your weight nice and equal as well. to go. Good. Standing up nice and tall, not leaning too much if you can. Brilliant. 
30 seconds to go. Nice and tall. Brilliant, well done. Keep it going. 15 seconds to go. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay. So this next one, if you have a band, you can use a band for this exercise. If not, don't worry, you don't have to have a band for this one. So you put the band around your ankles. We're going to keep the chair and for 45 seconds we're going to do one leg and then we're going to do the other leg. When you're ready, and off we go. Good. Trying to stand up nice and tall, keep the movement nice, slow and smooth at your leg. Well done. Should be feeling this in probably both of your hips, so not just this one, this one too. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and we're going to change legs now. Forty-five seconds. So when you're ready, off we go. Good again. Standing up nice and tall, keeping the movement nice and slow. Feeling it in your hips a little bit now. Good work. 15 to go. Keeping the band on, 90 seconds again, we're going to do 45 seconds on one leg, 45 seconds on the other. So now we're going to, when you're ready, off you go. Extending the hip, back in. Extending the hip, back in. And remember, you don't have to use a band for this. If you have one, great. If you don't, don't worry. Excellent. Standing up nice and tall in the body. Trying to keep your leg relatively straight if you can. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch legs. Good, 45 seconds on that. Staying up nice and tall, you should feel your muscles getting a bit sore by now and a bit tired, that's a good thing. Fantastic, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, brilliant, that's the exercise done. Okay, we're now gonna pop the band off. And we're on to our next exercise now. So, if you have a step, ideally what we're gonna do is stepping up to the step and stepping down. If you don't, we're just gonna practice stepping forward and stepping back, okay? When you're ready, we're going to go in three, two, one, off we go. Okay, 
So then. Good. Good. And try and alternate your legs if you can. So you're not just always leading with one leg, you're leading with the other leg too. Good stuff. And you can vary the speed with this if you want. So if this is challenging, keep it nice and slow. But if you feel like you want to test yourself a bit harder, you can quick the speed up a little bit if you'd like. Said. If you've got access to a step, you can do this on your bottom step or a box if you have one. sofa, hands across your chest, feet nice and wide apart, and you're going to sit down to the chair, and then back up. When you're ready, off we go. Okay, that's it. Now if you find this too challenging, when the chair is too low, try and find a chair or the sofa arm, which is a little bit higher if you can. And you're trying to keep your weight back at all times. Nice and smooth. Try not to crash down. Brilliant. This is the last exercise. So you should feel like your blood's pumping now, getting a bit tired. Thirty seconds to go. Good. Last ten seconds. stop there. Excellent, good stuff. That's the main exercises done, now it's time for the cool down. Right, so this next one, just sitting in the chair, sitting up nice and tall if you can, legs out in front of you like this, and we're just going to straighten one leg out, pull your toes up towards you, hold that for 30 seconds, and you should feel a bit of tightening down the back of your leg. That's what we want. Just stretching those muscles out. Excellent. Five more seconds. And then switch legs. Same thing again. Straighten that leg up, pull those toes up towards you. Try to make sure you've got a nice upright posture so we're not statching too much. Again, she feels down the back of your leg. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. That's a stretch for your hamstrings and your calf muscles. Excellent. Okay, so this next one is going to be stretching the calf muscles a little bit. So your chair back and I just want you to get your feet one behind the other and trying to keep your feet nice and parallel and we're just going to spend 30 seconds just bending that front knee keeping the heel down at the back off we go 
You should feel a bit of stretching on your back leg. Stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Now we're going to switch legs. One foot in front of the other again, keeping the toes parallel. Bend that front knee when you're ready. 30 seconds, off we go. Again, you should feel it's on your back leg predominantly. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax there. Excellent, that's a stretch for your calf. Okay, next one. If you can, you're going to hold onto your chair again, grab one leg up, and stand up tall. Okay. Now, if you find this too tough, you can use a towel to loop around your back leg. So when you're ready, we're going to go for 30 seconds, off we go. So standing up nice and tall, and you should feel a pull along the front of your thigh. Good work. Stuff. Three, two, one, and then relax there. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. So, when you're ready, another 30 seconds, off we go. Standing up nice and tall. Remember, if you can't reach your foot, that's fine. If you want to loop a towel over it, that's absolutely fine as well. Pulling down your thigh. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it. Good stuff. That's a stretch for your thigh muscles. Now, just to finish off with, we're just going to work on a bit of meditation, a bit working on your belly breathing. So, if you can, find a space in front of you, and we're just going to have a lie down onto the floor now, okay? Make yourself nice and comfortable, that's really important for this. And in this position, I just want you to put your hands on your stomach, get yourself nice and relaxed. In this position, I just want you to take a really nice deep breath in, in through your nose, to the point you can feel the air rushing down into your belly. And then a long, slow, deep breath. Again, deep breath in through your nose. Breathing in so your belly rises. And then a long, slow, empty arm. And again, deep breath in. Fill those lungs up. Build a bit of tension in your shoulders. And then a long, slow breath out. Let those muscles relax in your shoulders, in your back, and in your legs. Same again, deep breath in. And breathe all the way out. Empty those lungs. And then as you breathe out, let them go floppy.
continue that breathing pattern now for the next minute or two. for the day.